Uh, my name is Ian Wahlfors. Actually, I come from Macando. I worked for Vattenfall Fallers a consultant for the last 16 years. Uh, Akando was, as you know, was actually bought by CDI, so I have 80,000 colleagues. So if you need any help, just join us in the, in the exhibition room. Let's go over to Vattenfall. So this was about, about Vattenfall is a very strong company in the electricity market. A few Swedish are here, so you probably know what Vattenfall is. Many of you that may, may not know what it is. Uh, to just give you context about what I'm going to talk about and the challenges, uh, I'm just going to talk about a little bit about what Vattenfall is. It's one of Europe's largest producers of electricity. Uh, it's owned by the Swedish state, but we have big plants and big things in the UK, in the Netherlands, around the world. Uh, we are about 20,000 employees. Wind power is a very important part for us. And wind power is what I actually represent in this case. Do you hear me now? Great. <clears throat> so, okay, in the wind power, it started a number of years ago. And today we are one of the biggest in offshore wind farms. And we are very big also in onshore in the UK, in Denmark, and other countries as well, like that. And we are growing. We are growing a lot. We are a number of, we have a lot of wind farms. I think it's like 25 wind farms. And they're gonna grow for the next five, 10 years to 10th of the size we have today. Today also, people say many times, you cannot earn cash on wind farms. Well, we are today producing wind farms without any subsidiary and you make a lot of money out of it. So it's a good business. It's not only good for the environment, it's also good if you want to make money. So when we started this, a lot of people talked about technology here. I'm not going to talk about the technology. I'm going to talk about how we did it. What was the, few, what was the success for us when we did this? So we started like this, in four steps. We started with the process design. And then we collected all the wind farms we had into the same location and discussed how is our process going to work? How are we going to work in the future? Because running wind farms is probably about the same whatever you are in the world, how to make it efficient. So we put everyone together and discussed and detailed and find out how we should work. When we had the process in place, we went into what we call a just phase. We build things. We build the IT solutions to support that process. So for us, it was very important. This was a business project, not an IT project. We had many IT projects at Vattenfall, and that was maybe not always so successful. But when we're running this as a business project, it's much more successful. After we've done the adjustment, built everything, we start actually to plan how to roll it out because there was some requirements and we'll get back to that. And when we have made that plan, we start the rollout all over Europe. When we did the process design, actually we put together all 21 wind farms as we had by that time. We created the process, the tasks, and had the same terminology with pronounced things in the same ways. We also define the different roles we have in the business. And finally, we find out this is what we're going to implement. Then we looked at actually at the, how it was today at the sites. How well did they actually, what is actually the to be scenario? So the, we know the process, but no one was there. So we have different views of where actually it was. We have to work with that so everyone get up, get up and work in the same way. That's the only way the IT tools will work in a nice way. And we also prioritize the capabilities as was important for us. This is the plant maintenance. So the mobile access for the technicians are very, very important. We wanted to have less administration. We wanted all the information to be available for the technicians out there in the field. That was very important. We also want actually to reduce the administration simplifying things and, and uh, we also prepare a big project where we want to have data-driven operational maintenance so the system should give us so much information so we know what to do and make it more efficient and this was a very important part from that point of view what we did when we started this we actually what we called a use case definition we defined a number of things so we said this is what we're going to support 
this is what we're going to do with the Netio software and things like that. So when we had all the use cases described, we looked into a SAP system because that is our backend system and see, okay, how do we fulfill this in the backend system today? Because if you have a mobile solution, but it doesn't support by the backend, we will never be able to do it. So, okay, we ensure how is the backend working and what enhancements do we need there? So there we actually have both functional descriptions and we have technical descriptions from SAP side. After that, we looked, if you remember, we talked about that we have these process descriptions in the beginning. We agreed about the process. So we ensured that all our use cases, does they have, even if it was nice functions, was anyone going to use them? So we actually make a quality assurance to make sure that everything we should develop, will it be used? Because if there were no tasks to perform these things, we shouldn't develop it. So that's actually how we done a QA in this case. Then when we have that quality assurance, we know what to do in the SAP system, we know what the process, we know that everything was going to be used that was business useful for us, then actually we put in Neptune applications into this and build the applications. I will get back to the applications for you, what we have built. But this was the functional requirements. We also had a number of what we call non-functional requirements. And if you come to big organization, big companies, there are other uh, requirements and other things you have to think about. For us, it was important. One part was, of course, the offline functionality. We have a full plant maintenance solution today with full offline functionality. That you can have a small company as well, but that was important for us. That's why we actually choose Neptune, because they were very skilled in this area. Another one we have to take very big consideration, but the is a big company, and that means we have an existing IT infrastructure today. All big companies have an IT infrastructure. We must make sure what we implement and how we do it must be supported by the infrastructure. We had some, we did a big purchasing here, and some people come with Google Apps, I think it was. Sorry, we don't support Android. There was I, Apple apps, but sorry, we don't have Apple. We have Windows. That was our requirement. Because I guess the most companies have technical platforms that put limitations. So that was the important part. In our way, we also had what we call information security requirement, MSI. And that's because Butterfile has to be a grid, and there are nuclear power plants. So that was very, very important to keep the security. Other companies might have that they have, like in my hometown, Gothenburg, we have Volvo. Maybe they have secrets about the product of new cars. Or if you have other companies, so these are very, very important also to relate to. So that was something that took us quite a long time to ensure that everything was fulfilled and fit into the landscape. Then a little bit about, so what we, did we build? Well, in that just, we actually did actually make a number of applications for the technicians. So wherever they are right now in the world, they have the tablet and they have applications. They can see all the work orders they have, what work they should be formed. This is actually a full plant maintenance solution from SAP, but in the Neptune Fiori uh, user interface. Uh, we have a number of applications there. One app is, of course, the central one and that you can see to the right here. And that is actually to keep what job should I do today? And what material do I need? What colleagues do I need? So I have every information I need. And there you can also back report everything in an easy way. One other part was the data driven over them. We needed to collect a lot of information what we do. We measure things. We do everything in SAP. But no one wants to fill in this in the graph in the QV interface. We created this one, and this one is our digital checklist. The interesting part, the guys love this checklist. They work on it, they click on it, they report on it, whatever it is. What special tools did you use? What material did you use? What measuring points did we do? No one wanted to work with SAP before this. Now the technicians say, please, we also want to get SAP on our site because we love this tool. So that's actually given us a lot of good information. And the other interesting part is what we have made here is 100% SAP standard in the backend. 
So we didn't need to do any changes to implement this kind of Diggle checklist. It's just a new user interface. Also in the back end, we built up an application for the service leader. And if you see here above, you have the process we developed. But we also made the Fiori application with Neptune to actually to make it possible to actually to describe the process on the screen, have all the filters, whatever they click in the process now, the web filters, they get the work orders that they should work and know exactly what they should do. Also, service leaders really like this. They, before they had to go to maybe 20, 30 screens. Today, they go into one screen. That's enough. We built in everything in this application. So a little bit how long time did this take to do? Always hard to say. OK, we were quite prepared. We did some evaluations. But we actually put in Neptune guys in the beginning of May two years ago. And to midsummer, the 21st of June, two months later, we have a version that we started to roll out. I should be honest, the business value was questionable because it was quite few. But at least we get it installed. We get everything out, and the technician had it. So from an infrastructure point of view, in two months, and that is normally impossible in a company like Vattenfall. But we make it, and that was really nice. Then after the summer, we spent another three months. Then we have actually have an application where the business said, yes, we have a business value. And now we are actually developing this ongoing, of course. When we implement this, we actually look at the site where they are today regarding processes, roles, systems, master data, documentation, everything like that. And that means in the rollout phase, we have to lift them up to a certain level so they can achieve our applications and work effect effectively. Because if you don't have the documents in the system, they will not get the documents. So there we have some parts to work. And that's maybe the big job in the rollout. And there is a lot of people from the business. So this is really not an IT project. It's a business project. And that, I think, is one of the big advantages. Also, why it's so important if you're talking master data. When you have the GUI system in front of you sitting in the office, if, if information in the system are not 100% correct, people normally don't notice it. But when you keep bring it out to the technician, they are in the field, they have the tablet, they see the data, they see the thing, they will directly say, oh, <laughs> this is not correct. So also, this put requirements from the technicians to the office to make sure everything is correct. I think that's good. So what did we come? We had asked a little bit people and, and see what did we do and how did we do it and what did we actually manage? And yes, we got through this tool a very intuitive usage. They really liked it. For the first application, we made a small guide how to use it. No one used it. So if you do this in the correct way, no one will read any documentation or, or manual at all. They just use it. That's good. So we save a lot of money there. We have also got the, a lot of information from the field, and we get it on time, earlier than reported when it got in. Now they stay out there in the field easily click it in, and we get the information into our system. That means also the office get better control of what the job we have done, and the backlog, and can do better planning for the future. So what was the key success factors from our point of view? We started with the business for almost a year to ensure we have an agreed, harmonized process how to work. That was very, very important. We also had the top management approval of this and support. It was decided by the top management, this is how we should do it. Even in a lot of managers inside Vattenfall, on their personal scorecard for yet the full bonus, they have to be able to achieve this. If they didn't achieve it, they lost money. So we have really, really good support from the top management in the company. And if you're only working with IT, you will never get that. Here we have the business, and the business resources get paid to make it correct. We also choose two pilot sites, one in the UK and one in Sweden. And they are very, very engaged, high interest. They really wanted to be a part of this. So of course, we identified the correct pilot users. 
Then we have some technical resources, really from actually from Neptune. Elling, are you here? Yes, there you see Elling. That's my consultant. Don't take him. <laughs> we have Stella outside there as well, I think, or if he's inside. Jürgen is not here. No, but we have very, very good skilled technicians. But we also have very skilled function consultants. They are not here today. Without the function consultants on the SAP side, I would say you will not succeed. It, it isn't enough for you to go developer. You also need the good function consultants. That combination was very, very important for us. And we also had a lot of mobile competence. So that was our trip. Thank you for listening.